Three years ago I made this Iron Man helmet and I think it's time for an update. So the plan is to 3D print an Iron Man helmet, put uh, in some uh, LED lights and motors and uh, paint it and uh, make it fit my head. So I spent uh, three months or something modeling an uh, Iron Man helmet in Blender and uh, spending a bunch of money on electronics and uh, soldering iron that hopefully will work. Uh, because I never worked with electronics in a project before, so I really hope nothing goes wrong. 3D printed a helmet in a bunch of pieces to fit on my ND3 3D printer, and after a few days of printing, I removed all the support and stopped examining the pieces for a few hours. Before I glued some of the parts together. Then I sprayed uh, all the parts with uh, a primer. And at this point I had started testing some of the electronics and everything seemed to work fine for now. <laughs> uh, so it was time to, to solder some cables and uh, assemble all the pieces and the mechanics to test the helmet for the first time. So at first it worked fine, but after a few tests it stopped working and I tried to fix everything I thought was the problem. Uh, but, but then it turns out that one of the motors had stopped working and the helmet also started to fall apart. And at this moment I thought I needed to spend even more money to buy better motors and uh, try to figure out a better way of making the helmet work. But then I remember I had one motor left, so this was my final chance of getting this to work. And after redoing a bunch of work, I finally could put in the new motor and wire everything up and put in the battery packs to test the helmet one last time. And it worked. So it was time to... Throw a little hot rod red in there. But first I put tape over the entire helmet to paint the the face plate in, uh, in gold and uh, then remove, uh, remove the tape to paint the rest of the helmet and metallic red. And after drying, it was time for the most satisfying thing, removing the tape. To finish the helmet, I used this blue plastic to make some lenses for the eyes, fill in some uh, spots with red paint, and added some silver and black paint to make it look a bit damaged and more realistic. And with that, it was finally finished and everything worked like it should. So, this is how it turned out. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe so you don't miss out on some cool upcoming projects I have in